Welcome to the second episode of SharePoint 2010 Snacks. In this episode I will show you how multiple users can work simultaneously on single documents stored in SharePoint. This is something which is called multi-user co-authoring. The way that this works is when you open a SharePoint document with uh, a document in SharePoint with Office 2010, it will not download the complete document immediately, but will only download the first part. So when you start editing and you edit, for example, the second paragraph and click save, it will only send back the second paragraph as a whole. This way, another user can be editing simultaneously the third paragraph, for example. And when this user clicks save changes, the changes are sent back to the server and the other user will be able to download them again. This is a feature which will greatly enhance the way that we work together on documents. So let's see how this works in action. Okay, I'm here logged in as user your response and I'm going to edit doc documents demo 2. So I do edit in Word and well, my Word 2010 will immediately open. Next I'm going to close down this program. Well, just minimize it for a moment and log in as another user. With these other users' credentials, I will go to the same document library and also click Edit in Word for Demo 2. You will immediately notice that I won't get a warning that the document is already being edited by another user, since there is no lock on the document as a whole. Here I'm going to Paragraph 1 and I'm going to make some changes in the document. When I click Save, these changes and only these changes are sent back to the server. And when I go back to the other Word session with the other user, I can click Save again, and this will sync down the changes from the other user down to this Word 2010 version. And you'll notice that you also get a warning for this, that the document has been changed by some other users. And you will see the changes made by the other user in green. If you go down to the screen, you will notice that you can also see which are the other users which are working with this document. Now I'm going to edit the second paragraph and I'm going to add some extra text in there. Again, I click save to submit my changes back to the server. And in the other user, we'll notice that the second paragraph has been changed by me. And when you click save, changes again are downloaded to his version of the document. This is a great way to work together on documents.